I understand that I am a living, breathing manifestation that you get to take that anger out on. And let me be incredibly clear, incredibly clear. I have never and still do not believe the representative to be a person of poor character and integrity. Republicans voted to censure Representative Maury Turner and strip the lawmaker of committee assignments. On the House floor, Republican Anthony Moore hits back against the assertion that the censure was targeted. Protection is not the issue. Harboring a fugitive and committing a crime is. The action coming after last week's scuffle at the Capitol. One protester dumped water on a state lawmaker, then got into a physical altercation with the state trooper. The other person, identified as Austin Ross, left the scene and allegedly hid in Maury Turner's office. I imagine their emotions were, were quite high when they showed up to Representative Turner's office. Um, there's something to be said about the actions that Representative Turner took to help de-escalate that situation. An OHB spokesperson says troopers could not get to Ross because the door to Turner's office was locked, but eventually did speak with Ross. And now the second protester is being charged with assault and battery on an officer. At the end of the day is that the troopers were able to do their job. The law was enforced. Democrats brought up the fact that other lawmakers have broken the law and were not censured. Republicans Ryan Martinez and Terry O'Donnell both face felony charges. Maury Turner, facing no charges as of Tuesday, is not apologizing. I know that I represent a culmination of things that you all deeply hate. And I know it makes it easier for you to try to silence the people of House District 88. Nick Camper reporting. It is important to point out that Turner has not been charged with a crime. Meanwhile, Res Representative Turner can still vote on the House floor. However, Turner cannot vote in committee.